if you were able to, let's say, make the same money and race dirt cars, would you do it? Um, I don't know. I, I think, I think maybe if you'd asked me that question seven or eight years ago, I probably would say, yeah, but I think as I've gotten older, um, I just enjoy racing all types of cars. So it doesn't matter to me if it's dirt pavement, stock car, sprint car, late model, you know, indie car someday, who cares? Like, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to, I, I love I love driving race cars more than I love making money. So um, mm, it doesn't, bad. it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. Maybe like it, it would have. And and maybe I had, you know, eight years ago or, or more, you know, a chip on my shoulder where like, I'm going to, you know, lean more towards the dirt stuff just to have their back and stuff. But now like, it doesn't matter to me. It's kind of like a cult. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't know. It, it's gotten, it's gotten less of that way. I feel like over the last few years. Um, cause I feel like there's more transition now because you've got other drivers besides myself doing it all, uh, or not all, but you know, dabbling yeah. like Chase is dabbling in the, in the dirt stuff, Kyle Bush with his son Braxton. Um, and then Yokai ran the shootout last week. So I feel like there's a lot more of the crossover and I feel like fans kind of appreciate all racing, um, as a whole more than maybe they did a few years ago. I think probably my biggest criticism on dirt racing again, cause we're such good friends and obviously we've talked yeah. about this many times is the danger aspect, you know, seeing people you know, like people that we know, like I know a lot less people in dirt racing than you do, but like I knew guys that died regularly, you know, people were passing all the time and it's, um, you know, it always just seems like, you know, I get it if you're, if it's your livelihood, but um, when you have a livelihood that uh, is really good, then it's kind of like, dude, these guys would give up. They, they give up their job for your job. Um, so does that even play into it or is that part of the allure? I don't think it's part of the allure at all, but, um, I don't know. I, I don't think about it at all. When I strap into a dirt car, I'm not thinking about this could be my last race I ever run in my life or, what, you know, I, I just love, I think my passion for racing and passion for dirt racing, um, keeps me coming back. And like I said, I, it doesn't, it's not about the money to me. Yeah. Um, but I do know there's a lot of people that rely on me driving, say a NASCAR, you know, cup car, you know, there's hundreds of employees at Hendrick. There's hundreds of employees when I was at Ganassi that rely on me. So I understand that side of it, but I, I do think the, positives of you know what could come from you benefiting as a race car driver could you know outweigh you know the risk side of it but yes there's always a risk um and i think anybody could have their own opinion on that so um for me i, I feel like it really benefits my racing and i and i think it's i've been able to prove it now the last couple of years knock on wood nothing you know bad has happened but uh Yes, I think we all understand that the risk is there and, and it's kind of part of it. But um, that's just when you, you were, blow by, you blow by everybody. So I don't know when you were around, though, it was that was like a bad that was a bad few years. Um, yeah. You know, with Tony getting hurt, Brian Clausen, Leffler, so many other it, not so Johnson, many other drivers. Jason yes, Jason Johnson. I mean, and even people not losing their lives, you know, breaking their backs and stuff like that. So, um, yes, it's dangerous, but. You know, there's danger in, in all everything we do every day. Yeah, yeah. You know, even your CrossFit can be dangerous, Danica. I, I don't do CrossFit anymore. CrossFit then, I still have a barbell in my garage, but I don't do CrossFit anymore. Um, I, I mean, it's a fact. I just, I'm just so curious about it. You know, so what is it then that what is like? What's the sensation if you could uh, express sort of? try and paint that picture for people. They see stock car racing, but maybe people don't know as much about dirt racing and stock cars, obviously on pavement, mostly mm -hmm. ovals, like, you know, there's a lot going on that you don't really see, um, in a race car. So, um, you know, but it, people can visualize a stock car going around a track. What are you feeling like a dirt, 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 dirt racing, like sideways, explain it to people. And then what's the sensation that's different than a stock car? Well, I guess I'll start by like comparing the two cars. Um, you know, a stock car is, well, up until this year was 550 horsepower, 3,400 pound race car. 
a sprint car, a wing sprint car is 1400 pounds with 950 to a thousand horsepower these days. So, um, <laughs> it's the power to weight ratio is, is unreal. Um, you know, pulls the front tires off the ground, you know, lights the rear tires up on the throttle. So there's so much finesse and, uh, the style of racing is, is aggressive because the races are short, you know, main event might only be 30 laps compared to four or 500 mile races. So, um, the intensity is, is really high. Um, and yeah, it's just the track conditions are changing lap by lap, uh, because you know, it's on dirt. So it's, you know, constantly drying out or getting ruts or building a cushion and, and the awareness that you have to have as a driver is, is, uh, something that I think is a good tool for when I go to the NASCAR side of things mm -hmm. where you have more time to get, you know, figure things out, um, you know, adjusting to a line and stuff like that. Um, the sprint car stuff is more intense, but you know, the, the pavement stuff I think is also a good tool because it teaches you the patience, um, you know, the precision of hitting your marks that I think really helps when I get back to the dirt stuff, especially when it comes to like having to slow down and run the bottom. So, um, I don't know, just the, the, they're hard to compare. There is really not much comparison, but, uh, they're both really fun. What's the sensation that you love? Do you love being sideways? Do you love like <laughs> running by the wall every night? Pretty well, not every night, but I'm sure most yeah. nights. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think the sensation of, even though the tracks too, the tracks and dirt are way smaller. You know, you're racing on a quarter mile to a half mile where the smallest track in NASCAR is a half mile. So, um, uh, you know, it's, uh, just that speed that you feel on a quarter mile could feel faster than what Michigan on a two mile track would feel like, even though you're going almost half the speed, uh, sometimes. So, just because the quickness and the reaction that it takes sure. to and, and the suspension, you know, a, a stock car, like it's pretty rigid. It doesn't move a whole lot. You know, if you hit a bump, it doesn't move a ton where a sprint car, I mean, your, your car will travel inches, um, and in bouncing and, and flipping and wrecking and all that. So, uh, but I would say the sensation of the speed and, and my heart rate gets way higher, uh, in a dirt race than, than it would in a, in a stock car race, just because, I think in the stock cars, you have such a long you know, straight away to kind of relax and things get spread out. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, uh, the sensation yeah. of reaction and speed is, is wild people, which I would, I feel like would maybe be similar to like an Indy car. I would have to imagine, you know, cause they're quick and twitchy and edgy. Oh yeah. This is the, I mean, I mean, when I jumped back in an Indy car a couple of years ago for the last time, um, I mean, I took off out of pit lane and first thought was like, Oh shit, I forgot how fast these are. <laughs> like I accelerated off of pit lane on the back straight away at, the, at Indianapolis. Yeah. And I was like, Oh God. And then I was like, I can't even turn the wheel. I was like, this is so hard. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, there's a lot about an Indy car that I think is probably similar to a dirt car. Do dirt cars have power steering? Yes. Yeah. They have power steering, which is thankfully they do, but it, it still gets, you know, it can get heavy, you know, a heavy wheel when you're bouncing through holes and stuff like it'll, it'll try and yank itself out of your hands. The dirt late model, you know, those cars are similar horsepower to a sprint car, but they weigh, I think a thousand pounds more. Mm -hmm. And there's so much load on the front tires and those things, just the way the suspension is uh, and on the right front, it makes the steering really heavy in those. So yeah, I've, I've have it where not, I have had it where like I go through a hole and it'll literally yank out of my hands and I take off of the track. So, um, definitely takes more arm strength in the late model. Um, mm -hmm. but still again, the sprint car compared to that, like your heart rate is way higher in the, in the sprint car compared to late model. Did you win chili bowl last year? Yeah. The last two years I've won for those listening that, um, might not know as much detail about you. Um, your season in 2021 was just ridiculous. I mean, you won 11 cup races, 10 regular season and the all-star race, which pays a million bucks, right? Wasn't it a million mm -hmm. bucks to win the all-star yeah. race? Um, you got to try and compete with Caitlin for those t-shirt sales money. So it was good that you won <laughs> that. Um, and then I don't know all the dirt races, but obviously you won the chili bowl. And I know you won a whole bunch of others, which for people that don't know, like these are the biggest dirt races. These are like the, these are the super bowl 
these are the World Series. This is the Daytona 500 of of dirt racing, and it almost feels like there's more energy and excitement around it than even a Cup race on some level. Like you can you you would probably agree. Um, so which one? Which dirt races did you win that were the big ones? Yeah, last year I was able to run. I ran what a midget, a sprint car, a dirt late model, and a Cup car. And I won marquee events on all four types of cars. So yeah, I started out with the Chili Bowl at uh, in Tulsa and the Midget. So the two big races I won the Midget were the Chili Bowl and the BC39. That's in the infield at IMS. Uh, in the sprint car, I won the Kings Royal and the Knoxville Nationals. Those are the two biggest sprint car races of the year. Yeah. Uh, in the Dirt Late Model, I won uh, the Prairie Dirt Classic, which is I would say probably like the fourth biggest race in Dirt Late Models, and then. I mean, the Coke 600, the all-star race, Phoenix, um, there was, there was a lot, a lot of good, good, big ones, uh, in cup as well. So that's definitely something I'm really proud about. Um, I think I ran 96 or seven races, uh, last year and won 33 of them.